Hello everyone. This is the Joint Theatre Director of the Rotary Club of Venice BM, Senori Silva. And welcome to the third session of Road to A Plus Present. Today we are going to talk about the second, second part of the second lesson, which is about the ear. Okay, let me screen share and then let's move on to the lesson. Okay, so last week we discussed about the eye. We talked about the structure, the function, the defects, the diseases and uh, the remedies and everything related to the ear, uh, to the eye. So today we are going to talk about the structure and the function of the human ear and uh, some of the other parts related to the ear as well. Okay. So let's move on to the first um, part of the second uh, session, second part of the uh, second unit. Audio sensory organ of the body is the ear. So that's obvious, student. Okay, audio sensory organ kyaane audio. It can start the sense vena. Then na ek kyaane sense vena organ ne kotha ma ear Okay, like you know you see through your eyes, right? So the same way you hear through your eye, ears, okay? So the eyes are really important. I told you why. And in the same way, the ear is also important because you hear through your ears, okay? So if the ears are not functioning properly or if something happens to your ears, you will not be able to, you know, hear anything. And the other thing is, uh, so since you are in grade nine, um, the only function they have told you all is the hearing function. But going forward in the you know next few grades, you all will learn that the ear gives you know a lot of functions such as balancing, the balancing of the body. Of uh, that also, there's a certain. Uh, help from the ear as well a big help okay so for now we'll just talk about the hearing effect of the ear okay the audio sensory organ of the body is the ears that's clear through your ears only you hear okay now let's talk about the structure of the ear even though the structure of the ear or else even though the ear seems to be a very small organ externally it is a very, very complex structure, children. Okay, it's a very complicated structure. Even though you can see just this, you know, the earlobe, it's not just the earlobe uh, that helps you in uh, hearing stuff. It's not just the, it's not just the earlobe. Because inside the earlobe, there are so many parts. Okay, earlobe is, is just a part of the outer ear. Whereas the ear is divided into three major parts. The first part is the outer ear, the part you can actually see, but you can see only one certain part of the outer ear as well. Okay. So next you have the middle ear and then you have the inner ear. Outer ear, middle ear, inner ear. Outer ear pain. Externally pain outer ear. Middle ear can inner ear capillary. Okay, so uh, let's talk about this parts now. We don't take the outer ear. The outermost part is the earlobe. Earlobe, my name So there's another word for earlobe. You call it as the pinna as well. You call the earlobe as pinna as well. And then you have the external auditory canal. Median external auditory canal. The external auditory canal, like I don't think y'all will be able to see your own own one very clearly. So what you can do is you can you know ask your friend or one of your family members or anyone to you know look aside so that you can see that person's auditory canal. If you are really you know into this, you can uh, check the external auditory canal like that. Okay, the external auditory canal like that. My love, my meaning so cotton buds done. Anything you come up. You know, they all do all the stuff to the external auditory canal. And then you have the tympanic membrane. What is known as the tympanic membrane? 
tympanic membrane is the eardrum okay so eardrum plays a very 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 important uh, role in the ear because i think uh, you all have heard your parents saying oga karan ne pa khan bere to wale re khan bere ke ne karta mai me eardrum ke so children i recommend you to use the term tympanic membrane because since you are in grade 9 now uh, the examiners expect you to use scientific words scientific words as in you know scientific terms rather than using words such as uh, ear drum it's good if you all can use the word tympanic membrane okay so that was all the three three parts of the uh, outer ear and then uh, let's talk about the functions and then move on to the middle ear okay what's the function of the ear lobe the function okay let's talk about structure first it's a cartilaginous organ cartilage ring hadala den i'll do one make there na but and the function of it is it directs sound waves towards the auditory canal so what does this ear lobe do it collects the sound waves and directs it towards the auditory canals apu hitanna ko dan wanna um okay i i'm going to make a sound okay i'm going to make a sound like this and certain uh, sound waves will come and those sound waves are being collected by the ear lobe eken thamai direct karana eken collect karala thamai direct karanne towards the external auditory canal it pass idin kanathrin yana and then let's talk about that process later so that is the function of the ear lobe okay and then we have the external auditory canal children it directs the sound to the tympanic membrane the external auditory canal directs the sound to the tympanic membrane so what is the tympanic membrane again it's the eardrum okay ekata thamai amma amma thathara kiyanne ara kan bere tu wala ekala anna e tympanic membrane okay so Who, which part directs the sound towards the tympanic membrane the external auditory canal then our ear lobe begin collect kare kata sound waves tika external auditory auditory canal eka dige gihilla eka direct karana on tympanic membrane eka har etan tena gan gan therana okay so that's what happens and children um i'm not sure whether it's in your syllabus but let me tell you this uh so we have this uh ear wax i hope you all know it hard khane kala adiru kiyala kiyanne ear wax kiyala kiyanne anna ewa gola kala de external auditory canal ekke ona kenake kiyana they have been made by cerebellus glands and sebaceous glands so ear wax is also present in this uh, external auditory canal why 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 is there uh, ear wax because it helps it it protects the ear drum children the presence of ear wax pr pr protects the eardrum okay so yeah that's about it and uh, the tympanic membrane it vibrates in response to the sound wave and acquires the auditory senses eardrum mekata thamai gihilla ara sound waves avilla gihilla vibrate wenne okay so if the eardrum is here mekata sound wave velle meka thamai mehema mehema uh vibrate when okay and then now let's go on to the middle ear there are two main parts of the middle ear those two parts are ossicles and eustachian tube okay so when you talk about the ossicles there are three main bones the names of the three uh, three main bones are children malleus incus and stapes three small bones named as malleus incus and stapes okay this malleus malleus is attached to the tympanic membrane okay the malleus is attached to the tympanic membrane you or you can use the term ear drum as well okay and the function of these three uh, bones or else you can call it as ossicles as a whole the function is children they transmit sound related vibration to the cochlea the sound that that's been collected by the ear lobe is directed towards the external auditory canal 
and then it directed those uh, sound towards the tympanic membrane which you all also call as the eardrum and now the ossicles they transmit this sound the vibrations towards the cochlea okay we'll be talking about the cochlea so before that let's talk about the eustachian tube it is an open tube connected to the pharynx pharynx is somewhere here so you all don't have that much in the syllabus i think uh, not for the second lesson so it's it's an open tube which has been connected to the connected to the pharynx okay and uh, one one main function of it is it controls the pressure on either sides of the tympanic membrane it controls them the tympanic membrane okay sides they can the inner pressure like control can call the eustachian tube so you all might get mcqs children they might give you the function and ask you the uh, part so you know they can give a question like which of the following parts what is the part which is used to control the pressure on either sides of the tympanic membrane so they can give you cochlea ossicles uh, auditory nerve ear lobe something like that and you have to choose the correct uh correct part part okay okay then let's move on to the inner ear which is a very complex uh, structure i mean it's not complex to study but you know it's it's kind of very complex okay so now let's move on to the inner ear when we talk about the inner ear there are three major parts one is the cochlea next it's the auditory nerve and then the semicircular canals when you talk about the cochlea children okay it is uh it is like this this is the structure of the cochlea okay so ara golubel ekge ara katta thiyena ne ka bima kavala kavala koyle akala anne e wage thamai cochlea ekge hari and then you have the uh, auditory nerve and then you have the semicircular canals cochlea the nerve endings of the auditory nerve is connected to cochlea auditory nerve ek gana den api ilanta katha wenna e auditory nerve deke nerve endings they are being connected to the cochlea children okay so now uh, as you all can see each of these parts are connected to each other okay each of these parts are connected to each other now even though the ear is is divided into three major parts as outer ear in the middle ear and inner ear all these parts are you know connected to each other so i told you you have ossicles in the middle ear right so their ossicles is comprised of three bones as malleus incus and stapes and this malleus is connected to the tympanic membrane or the ear drum okay so likewise this cochlea is connected to the auditory nerve the nerve endings of the auditory nerve is connected to the cochlea okay so what does the cochlea what's the function of the cochlea children it transmit auditory senses to the auditory nerve auditory nerve vekata ara ara uda uda parts selin aapu sound eka auditory nerve ekana kawuda pass karanne cochlea eka nika this whole structure of the ear is like passing on the battle children okay i'm so sure you all have uh, seen a relay so what what happens in a relay one you know a runner runs and then passes on the battle to the uh, next uh, next person right so that's that's what happens in a relay so same the same theory applies to the ear the way the ear functions because once the ear lobe collects the sound waves and then directs it to the external auditory canal and then what happens to the sound waves those are being directed to the tympanic membrane so likewise children it goes along the track it's the same way like you know passing on the back okay so now we were talking about the audit, uh, cochlea so the function of the cochlea is to transmit the auditory senses to the auditory nerve if you uh, memorize these uh, parts in an order 
it's easy for you all to write at least one specific function of uh, each part because it's always directing it to the next part there are some some, some uh, changes as well if you take it this you you say this this station tube uh, it's been used to control the pressure on either side of the thing in membrane uh, and then yeah so that's the only different kind of one to now it's only the eustachian tube because it controls the pressure on either side of the tympanic membrane and it's an open tube connected to the pharynx so only the eustachian tube has a different function okay and then uh, let's talk about the auditory now as soon as i i as soon as i tell you the function of the auditory nerve children What's it? Auditory nerve, optical nerve. I hope you can remember. The one which sends the uh, the uh, the uh, what do you call the certain image to the brain. So likewise, uh, the the part which sends the sound to the brain is the auditory nerve optical nerve ka ahe thiyena wage kane thiyenne auditory nerve ka optical nerve ka ne ahe thiyena me okkoma me senses tika gihila brain ekata yanne optical nerve ka ne ahe e wage auditory nerve ka thamai ear eke thiyenne so the auditory nerve it takes the auditory senses the sound waves to the brain and then that sound is been interpreted by the relevant part of the brain. Then all the kaake kaala huwa ma, eke ka part of kaake kaala ga hana ga ahen ne, kaneng ne me ka identify kaala. Eka men ne me bhi jata, you know, now just imagine, okay, you are studying, you are studying, okay, and then you uh, hear, uh, a, a, you know, a dog starts barking, okay. So how do you know that it's a dog who is barking? Does your ear recognize it? No, it's not your ear. Okay, it's not your ear. What happens is when the dog barks, the earlobe or the pinna connects the uh, collects those uh, sound waves, and just imagine, okay, I was studying, and then the dog barks, and uh, so what happens is the earlobe or the pinna collects the sound waves and then directs the sound waves towards the external auditory canal, and then it directs the sound waves towards the eardrum which is also known as the tympanic membrane and likewise it will go um, down the steps ossicles and yeah and then cochlea and then cochlea will transmit these auditory nerves senses to the auditory nerve okay and then what happens is children these auditory nerves it takes these uh, senses to the relevant part of the brain and the brain recognizes this sound as the sound recognizes the sound as okay this is a dog who is barking me ballek bura na tan ki ballek biruwa ma khanata eka identify kara ganna ba me ballek de bura na na tan kaak ekda ga ganna eka harita me eva karala interpret karanne a oy kaak ek nemai ga ganne ballek bura ne kiyala kiyanne kawada e eka denne kawada eka brain eka Brain, it's really important because brain is the one which identifies everything. The optical nerve, the I, I, last week I read the optical nerve, the brain, 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 the the brain, the the Brain recognized Okay. And then you have the semicircular canals. Ah, then here you have the point, the point I mentioned uh, earlier. The semi semicircular canals contribute to maintain the balance of body. children, like you know, if people are saying thing, there can be various reasons. But one reason could be uh, due to something wrong with this as well. Okay, so the semicircular canals contribute to maintain the balance of the body. Now, reason it could be this. 
Okay. And now let's see how this ear perceives auditory senses. I think I almost told, explained this part as well when I was uh, explaining the functions, but let us, let's, uh, let me explain it again, okay? So let's do the activity 2.10 to demonstrate how a membrane is vibrated according to a sound. The things you will need are two funnels. These are funnels, children, okay? The green color, the two parts. A sheet of balloon, my balloon carried up. Two meter length rubber tube, a thread and a tuning fork. Make it a tuning fork. Okay? So now what you're gonna do is tighten well the balloon sheet to the mouth of the funnel. Funnel like a on the take a tight karana. Join the two funnels to the open ends of the two meter length rubber tube. They have shown in. Keep the funnel with the balance sheet to one of the students here. It can go into the and vibrate the tuning fork near the other funnel. On its funnel like go into the tuning fork with the other Okay. And then you have to report your observations. When the fork, now children, uh, listen, okay, now what happens is, uh, one funnel is next to the ear of a child and the other funnel is near the tuning fork, okay? Then you have to think, like a woman, it starts vibrating. You just have to do a small thing like this. When the fork is vibrated, the rubber sheet too vibrates and the sound is better heard. Now what happens is, when the fork is being vibrated, the rubber sheet also vibrates and the sound is, you know, you can hear the sound very clearly. Similarly, correspond to the sound wave, the tympanic membrane vibrates. Just like the rubber sheet vibrated, just like it, the tympanic membrane of our ear too vibrates when we hear sound. Make a rubber sheet take a vibrate. Una vidhya dhama namai ape khan very vibrate. So now what happens is the ex. Now let's read this first. The sound waves created by the vibrations of the objects in the external environment travels to tympanic membrane along the external auditory canal. The tympanic membrane is vibrated accordingly. The vibrations are then transmitted to cochlea through ossicles. Okay, so there are three parts of ossicles. Don't forget that. Malleus, incas, and stapes. Um, the nerve endings connected to our cochlea take the auditory sense. See, children, no, eustachian tube is not uh, mentioned here. Okay. The nerve endings connected to cochlea take the auditory senses to the auditory nerve. The auditory nerve transmits the impulse to the relevant part of the brain. The sound is then interpreted by the auditory area of the brain. Okay. Now let me uh, explain you this. So, children, this is how the ear perceives the sound. Just imagine, um, there's a sound. You can hear a sound. What happens is, now this uh, certain object, okay, this certain object puts out sound waves, okay? These sound waves are being, like, you know, these sound waves are being created by this vibration of the object. Okay, let's see. Let's say that there's a drum. Let's say there's a drum, and a drummer is, you know, playing the drum. Okay, so now there are sound waves created by the vibrations of the objects. Okay, there will be sound waves. Now, these sound waves will slowly approach the tympanic membrane. How does this, uh, how does that happen, children? Because uh, the ear lock or the pinna collects the sound waves and then it directs the sound waves towards the tympanic membrane. How does it, does it directly direct the sound waves towards the tympanic membrane? No, through the external auditory canal. Okay, I hope it's clear for you all. Or canal membrane. Okay, you hear a drama playing the drum, the earlobe 
Odopina collects the sound waves, direct it towards the external auditory panel, and the external auditory panel directs these uh, sound waves towards the tympanic membrane. I told you all that there's another name for the tympanic membrane. We call it as the eardrum as well. So now what happens? These vibrations are then being transmitted to the cochlea through ossicles. And I explained the structure about uh, the structure of ossicles. There are three bones as malleus, incus, and steps. Okay, so malleus is connected to the tympanic membrane. Okay, and then now these vibrations are being transmitted to the cochlea through ossicles. Okay, to the cochlea through ossicles. Now what happens, children? The nerve endings that have been connected to the cochlea, they take these auditory senses to the auditory nerve. I told you all, this is like a relay. This is the same way a runner passes on the battle to the next runner. Likewise, the sound that have been collected by the earlobe was passed on and now we are at the stage of the cochlea. Now what the cochlea, you know, the cochlea then uh, transmit, collects and then gives this to the uh, auditory nerve. The auditory nerve then transmits this impulse or this sound waves to the relevant part of the brain. It sends and sends this message to the brain. Then the auditory area of the brain, the specific area of so the brain to recognize the sound, recognizes the sound and interprets the sound. Okay, so that is the process. Here. I hope it's clear. Okay, if there's any question, just you know, type it in the uh, the uh, comment section of the YouTube uh, channel. I'll teach y'all uh, again. Okay, so that's what happens. How do they make all the parts very parts very enough? So that's about the structure and the function of the ear. Uh, let's talk about the defect of the ear now. The ear is uh, not much long and yeah, long that like uh, IE. So let's talk about the defect of the ear. What are the disorders, children? Impaired hearing, harita henna, deafness, deafness, kyane, uh, you can't hear at all. Hardening of ossicles. So we told that uh, there's a part called ossicles, right? Ossicles are the same as Marius Inca steps. It becomes so hard. So these disorders or defects could happen, you know, uh, at birth. If you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's what they had told. This may occur in years while living. Okay, so that's what they had told. It is also said that people who are deaf from birth are dumb too. So children, uh, that is uh, obvious, right? Because uh, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? People who are deaf from birth are dumb too. Can I? If you don't have a sing dumb, can I have another connect? Katakaran and bad. Dumb. Dumb. Can I katakaran and bad? Har ai ham kyan ni? Everything we learn by hearing. Okay? So now just imagine there's this person who can't hear. But do you think it's practical? 
will that person be able to talk like we do? No, right? You can cut out the summer to pull on a pitaram or a, you know, like a normal person. I don't, I don't think it will be easy. You know, that's why they have told that it has been said that people who are deaf from birth are dumb too. Not 100%, but can be dumb too. Yes, so now just if you think about it, it's true, right? Because a pig got a devil, a cataker, and a play. I have a video. The I have nothing you cannot take a video to pronounce the cataker and a marine. If you got a cladding, you can kill him and dumb the nut pull on the kid. Hearing aids can be used as a remedy for loss of hearing. Yeah, so I don't know if I can go on the grad is you call it hearing aids, so they can be used as a remedy for loss of hearing. Remedy can make. एक अच्छा जहाँ पे अभी तो उन्हें हज़ुना में भी फैनडाल बन ने अन्य ये वाके बेहतर क्या नहीं क्या नहीं एक अच्छा होंडर जहाँ पे जो एस्पेन है तां तो जो कल दूर शॉर्ट साइड शॉर्ट साइड इतने सारे लॉन्ग साइड इतने सारे तीनों ना यहाँ पे वी पुट स्पेक्टेकल्स ना तो वी लर्न अबाउट इट एस वेल लास्ट so children, the audible range of the human who uh, human ear is twenty hertz to twenty thousand hertz. May it is it can you call it as hertz frequency measure karana uh unit. So human ear I could have twenty hertz to twenty thousand hertz with her. There is also a limited intensity of sound in this range that the ear can tolerate. Have a human kill me twenty to twenty thousand tolerate that. There is a certain, uh, you know, there's a certain range. Now, I think if you all put on earphones and then increase the sound of your phone, just imagine you are listening to a song, yeah, you have put earphones as well, and you increase the sound. Most phones, they send you this notification saying, uh, if you increase it further, it may damage your eardrum. It may damage your ear. Something like that. You get the notification automatically. Okay, because even though we can hear uh, within this range, even though you say that 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz is the audible range of the human ear, there is also a certain range to which our, he to which our ear can tolerate. Okay, there is a limited intensity of sound in this range that the ear can tolerate. Okay, so sounds beyond that range can actually damage the ear. Okay, um, if you can't get a good luck, good luck, sadder than ever honey park here, so it's actually bad. Okay, it can damage your ear. Now, let's talk about the precautions that could be used to protect the ear. Then, Kana Parisan Kurgan and Nanga Kana the Kana. Avoid inserting foreign objects into the ear. Foreign objects can be used to 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 be used so uh, don't misunderstand it okay it's not something like uh, foreigners love when they're attacked they have done when they're attacked object they have done if I'm a foreign object I can it honey up a and gay a pick honey no no see what they have done if I can so you don't put you know those pins and stuff like that it's really bad it's really bad don't insert any kind of external objects Okay, foreign objects are basically external objects objects into the ear. Refrain exposing to loud noises. You know, don't stay uh, close to places like that because it's not good. Refrain can a balakin. Okay, refrain exposing to loud noises. Just imagine you are sitting somewhere and then the loudspeaker is right next to you. And it's on uh, the volume is so so high. Okay, so don't sit there just waiting. Oh my God, this is now nice music. Don't be like that. Just walk away. Okay, sit somewhere else. Okay, these are 
children practical things science is all about practical things we uh, you know encounter in our life in our daily lives so the example i gave you all now is something that could happen so you are in a party and then you are sitting nicely. The loudspeaker is right next to you and the volume is so high. Okay? So don't just sit there saying, Shah, this is a really nice song. I love it. Don't do that. It's not good for your ear. Just walk away, you know, sit somewhere else because exposing your ears to loud noises is really bad. It's really bad. It can damage your ear for sure. Okay, so the next one is do not put any medicines for the ear without medical advice. So unless the doctor has pre prescribed you something, don't put uh, other type of medicines just because your friend asked you to, just because someone else asked you to, or just because you found it in Google. You maybe you you know we all we are all used to Google and stuff, right? Why does this happen? What can you use for this? What does this mean? We all always tend to do that. But, you know, when it comes to health and uh, medical advice and medicines, it's not good. Okay? So, consult a doctor if there's something wrong with your ears, but don't go to just Google stuff or get recommendations from just other people and uh, use medicines that are not being prescribed by a doctor. Okay? And the next one is avoid diving in deep waters without wearing safety equipment. Yes, so don't dive into water uh, without wearing the necessary safety equipment. Okay, because the pressure is very high in deep water. This is regarding deep water, not just a normal swimming pool. Deep water. Okay, because the pressure is really, really high. It's not good to our ears. The last one is avoid slapping on the ear and dragging by the earlobe. So you know what the earlobe is? Earlobe is the pinna here. It's in the external ear. And it is, now you know it, that it is the uh, part which collects the sound waves and directs to the audit, uh, external auditory canal. Now we all know it. So it's not good to drag by the earlobe. It's not good. And also uh, avoid slapping on the ear. So, yes. So, avoid slapping on the ear. Okay. Um, so children, they have asked you to make a model of a stethoscope. Stethoscope is what doctors use. Use, uh, you know, when they diagnose the sick illnesses, okay? Uh, yes. So that's about it. And uh, there are certain questions here. I hope you all, you all will do it. And in case if you all get stuck, in case if you you know if you feel like i don't understand this or if you feel like you need to know a lot more about it children um please don't hesitate i'll be really happy to answer any questions y'all ask me okay so yeah don't hesitate ask me anything related to grade nine science like i always say I'll be really happy to answer y'all because um, your success and your well-being, your, you getting good grades for your exams is my happiness and it's the happiness of the entire Road to Aircast team and the entire Road Track Club of NSB. So that is why we initiated a project like this to help y'all, to support y'all to you know help you achieve your dreams and become big people one day in the future because corona or any type of pandemics or anything don't let anything stop you from achieving your dreams don't let anything stop you from achieving your dreams and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something okay if someone tell you that just prove them wrong by doing it okay so whatever the obstacles you face whatever the 
problems you face, don't just give up on your dreams. Study well, work hard, and good luck for your future endeavors. Uh, also, I'm reminding y'all again, if there's any question y'all want to ask me, I'll be really happy to ask, uh, answer them as well. So, um, be safe, take well care of you, and study well until next time. So, next Monday, we'll move on to the third lesson. Thank you.